I'm like, bro. Does he, he got a kid? Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> They got popular around the same time for real. Yeah, some sneak this and you know, Eminem was like, where did I come from? I, I don't really care. It's like It's like two it's like two legends coming after each other. It's like it's there's no need for it. It's like there's yeah. no space for both of y'all really. There's no space for both of y'all. <laughs> 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 there's the best space. <laughs> I think Snoop Dogg's have said he, he wasn't on anybody's top five. I'm sorry, Snoop. Maybe in the eighties he was on someone's top five. In the eighties. I mean, he's not like a he's not like a super lyrical. Like, can you name five Snoop Dogg songs? D O Double G. Name another one. That was that's not even a song. He <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, had I think he got a song about Dog Pound. I don't know where she was at. Bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no just the Snoop Dogg. Like, he's an OG, bro. You know, but. Like, if you're enjoying this reaction, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. Uh, it's the road to 10k subscribers. We really appreciate all the support. We're gonna hop right into this reaction. Brainla, he's one tough customer. He knows what he likes when he sees it. Ooh, Brainla! I thought they were saying they were playful. And then I just, I was just like, I mean, I was doing stand up in like fucking restaurants and shit. People like eating, not knowing there's going to be a show, like looking up from cutting into something. And you're like, hey, you know, what's up with Bill Clinton or whatever the fuck I was doing back then. <laughs> <laughs> I started that in 2007. Accidentally, I was over this comedian's house, Robert, uh, apartment, Robert Kelly. And he was like, dude, you should do a podcast, dude. And I was like, what's a podcast? What's like, a podcast? It's a fucking way to communicate. communicate with your fans. And back then, you've called up like a service. So I would just do like five minutes, um, you know, driving around, being in an airport, making fun of fat people or whatever. I just, one day I said, look at this. Uh, oh, you know, my landlord had broken up my apartment. <laughs> and I, I just, so I went downstairs the next morning and I, and I said to the landlord right there was, uh, uh, the, the manager saying yeah one of your guys broke into my apartment and blah 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 and I told him the whole story and then he immediately goes I don't appreciate you coming down here accusing me that was his vibe it wasn't like whoa whoa what what hang he on did. a second yes and I had it for a second and then I didn't have it I was on a, a short lived show and that thing went away and then I remember one night I was at the Laugh Factory and I was, I don't know what, I mean, I was cursing a lot or whatever, but I remember Jamie Masada came up to me. He goes, buddy, what happened to you, buddy? You lose your show? You lose your show, then you fuck, fuck, fuck all over the place? And I thought he was just joking around. So I just laughed. I'm like, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. And then he didn't give me spots the next week. And then the next week I didn't get spots. And the next week I didn't get spots. So <laughs> Bro, yeah. he gave me the fucking worst advice ever. It was like, you need to call up and apologize. Which I did, so then he had he no respect. Like, uh, <laughs> he would deny all of this shit. I love him to this day. He would deny yeah. all of this shit. Back and get yeah. your flash moment on like this. It's now. Um, I didn't quite say that to her, but I, <laughs> <laughs> that's not the way I would have said it. For you to get in the comedy store back in the days. <laughs> well, Mitzi didn't pass me. I remember that. And she was, <laughs> like, everybody has a fucking band story about a game. Well, she didn't even wait to the end of my set. Like, I was... I was still up there. This and, Paulie's mom? Yeah, and evidently, like, halfway through my set, she was just like, he's not ready. <laughs> so I just <laughs> out. Man. Yeah, and I took it personal. I was like, man, fuck her. Fuck this fucking club. Fuck LA. Like, that was like a big west of the Mississippi. Fuck them. They're not funny. But now that I'm older, I'm looking back, I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I she was really giving you game, right? She was, she was, she was getting you right. Okay. What's the first thing you do or think when you wake up? Oh, 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 shit, I have to do, I guess. I don't have a, a thought. Hot or cold? Cold. Tacos or hamburgers? 
Hammers. Ass or titties? Ass. What are your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Ooh. You know what? Adidas Country. For real? Do you remember those? Fuck yeah. The white with the green. I'm and, with Adidas right and, now. And they keep... They keep they, almost making it right. And they don't fucking make it right. They, and they But they did. They did in the early 2000s. I still have almost. them. They're dirty as hell. They look like a like Bruce Jenner, like the <laughs> javelin with them. What's your favorite <laughs> cereal? It's <laughs> 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 like Bruce Jenner threw the javelin. When I was a kid, I was a ton. I liked the monster I was I like Count Chocula and Booberry. I would tell them how my mother used, she was the one that used to, you know, beat us up or whatever if we did so my dad was my dad was in a fraternity and he kept the paddle as a souvenir my mother used to use it so we used to hide Damn. the fuck yeah she used to line us up there was five of us <laughs> wow. to be about like third so that way she'd get tired tired but you didn't want to be fourth or fifth because then she was too tired and she would hit the back of your legs your lower like her oh, aim, her aim wasn't her. as good yeah okay. and then you try to block it and you hit your hand and all that shit so fucking doing stand-up and people like they do, oh, like everything got labeled. Like that's that's domestic violence, that's mental abuse, that's right, physical abuse. Right. And um, I just got really frustrated, so I stopped telling the stories, but I knew that they were funny. So one day I was out walking my dog and it just hit me. I was just like, well, why don't I just animate it? Right. Because nobody seems to give a fuck. Nobody give a fuck. That was the basketball equivalent if I keyed my landlord's car. True. That's the same. But, you but you, fucking, they, you take a loss, you take a loss. What they knew was that the rain was over. They knew that them niggas was going to run it for a while. Remember, Michael, after that, so what, did they have to go and cry about it? It was over. Just the way he, Isaiah Kenny was going out like that. With his <laughs> head pulled what in. did they do to him? It they just, left him off the Olympic team for that. Remember that? Yeah, that guy. A uh, straight dog. But and Lambert was a dog. Dude, that guy's hilarious. I saw him one time one of those He's fucking the best those those NBA girls. classics, and he was going like, you know, we used to try to play a mind game, and it just cuts to him just taking people's legs out and punching them in the head. It's like, dude, you, you, there's really there's really not a lot of levels to this. In the country watching the exact same, same TV exactly. I was watching. We had one crazy. TV that motherfucker was in the living room. Mama went to, went to church or whatever she went to. We was turning that motherfucker or whatever we wanted to watch. All right, you want to hear how cheap one of my brothers was? I was living with him in my first apartment. We were living... It was this old ass fucking like look like a haunted house, and this guy had somehow converted the attic into an apartment. It was totally fucking illegal. No fire escape. Totally illegal. It was little ass like a kitchen TV. Yeah, but it was. A, but it was a color TV. So when he bought it, it was like three hundred bucks because it was like state of the art technology. So it was eighty eight when I was living there, and the Lakers and the Pistons were in the finals, mm. and I wanted to watch that, and he wouldn't let me watch his fucking TV, right? Cause he didn't want me taking life off of the tube. Oh, wow. That's how fucking she was the fucking Fuck. NBA finals. <laughs> so I remember like I had like the like uh, the window open, obviously because it was hot as shit. And I was also listening for him to pull up. Unfortunately, it was a gravel driveway. So I could hear the tires <laughs> of his car pulling up. And I was watching the fucking game with like wrong, the sound man. down and shit, like trying to listen yeah, to Dick Stockton. Dick and I heard <laughs> coming up the driveway. <laughs> shit this fucking dude came in like uh, Columbo. He just fucking <laughs> no, looking at me. He just came in. He just touched the fight. I had to fight him. I had to fight him, and he, he tried to charge me extra rent for like the fucking. I was just like, I watched like a fucking quarter and a half. Like, how, how much is that? How much are you? Fourteen dollars for the test to back the TV. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. There was no word. He just looked at me, looked at the TV, walked over, he just touched it, and then fucking charged me. Uh. <laughs> Sideways and you bit down and would call it a great girl. Oh, oh, oh. And stabbed you in the roof of your mouth. It would affect how you talked in school, like for the first three months. My was bleeding one day when I bit them out in the fucking sun in July on a fucking roof. And I remember the first job I had looking over the over the fence. These fucking good looking people, like Instagram looking people before Instagram, and they were just lounging at a pool, just looking up at us. And I was just thinking, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> Living. You was living. No. I was working. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that job so much. Do you know I just left? I didn't even go back and pick up a paycheck. <laughs> wow. Do you know there was this fucking guy who worked there? He had these jeans That's on, right? Job. And I had a giant hole here, and he would never wear underwear. Oh, come it on. It was so God. weird. I remember one time I was sitting there picking up these fucking tiles, and this dude stepped over some shit and the, the hole moved like right oh, wow. flashed his fucking junk 
I want those are my two f memories from that. That dude's junk and those people sitting by the pool. Yeah. Maybe that's why I didn't go back. That's a great reason not to. No, I wasn't good at confrontation then. <laughs> I thought he was going to get mad that I didn't want to do a job where I was going to get sunburned and look at some guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bill yeah, Bill Burr is hilarious. I don't know why he was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not just talking to Snoop Dogg, but <laughs> yeah, Snoop Dogg got his own little podcast thing. That's his. Yeah, he, he got a he had a couple. He had a lot of people on there, a lot of celebrities. Yeah, because his Instagram is funny. A lot of comedians. He got like 50 million followers on Instagram. Yeah, because yeah, he's funny. Wow, well, I'm, I'm surprised Snoop Dogg is so active on Instagram. I'm not. <laughs> okay, what else you gonna do, bro? Smoking is just fucking post stuff, man. You might as well. People love you for it. Yeah. You can't pay to do it. You might as well. Uh, yeah, but Snoop Dogg's hilarious. We can get on here. That'd be crazy, bro. He, you know he's going to do his jar like this stuff, too. Oh, bro. my God. I would die. Yeah. I would just... Oh, you're you're going to be dead. But yeah, I think hit the floor. Like, no, no, no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I never, oh, I just, never felt anything like this before. <laughs> Snoop? Am I still in the chair, Snoop? Like, no, he was standing for the last 30 minutes. Oh, let me sit back now. Let's go. You know, you just stand there for like five minutes and say a word. I'm like, oh, oh, my fault. Sorry. But yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. It's the road to 10k subscribers. See you next time. Peace. Peace.